I think everybody prays, but some people have the grace to pray. And I want that grace upon my life. I want it, Jesus. I want it, Jesus. Oh, say it. Oh, say it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a new video for you guys. And you see, I'm being more consistent. Consistent. No, guys, I have a short video. Um, and it's about how to level up your prayer, you know? Being a Christian, um, you know, prayer isn't always easy and getting a prayer life, cultivating a prayer life isn't always easy. And there are seasons where you're just dry, you know? I have seasons, I'm not perfect. I have seasons where I'm just dry and prayer becomes such a struggle for me and the issues of life just, they mess you up. They mess you up real good. Um, but these are three things that really help me maintain a prayer life and really help me, you know, to level up my prayer life. So if you want your prayer life to level up real quick from zero to hundred, here are three easy tips that I use personally or have used in the past, you know, to get my prayer life going again, you know, it's not always easy, yo. We need tips in life. We need tips in life. So number one is worship, worship music music that sings about the love of Christ, the holiness of Christ, you know, true worship music. Worship music, honestly, is something that has pulled me through a lot. Um, you know, for a lot of people, it's maybe praying, it's maybe fasting, it's maybe hearing certain sermons, but for me, music, that's my escape, and especially worship music, you know, um, I get lost in worship music, like even when I don't know what to pray sometimes, I'll listen to certain songs, you know, I'll just focus on them, meditate upon them. And actually the words of the song become a prayer. I seriously have had amazing encounters through worship music, just worshiping and just singing out and crying out the lyrics. And uh, honestly, I've had mighty visitations just in my room by honestly just listening to worship and you know, and really meditating upon it. Somebody asked me if I could make a list with some of my favorite worship songs and make a video about it, um, you know? If you want me to do that, you know, comment in the comment section below and I'll try to make a video about my favorite worship songs. Honestly, that's gonna be a long video because honestly, I have so, so, so many songs. It just are very dear to my heart. Um, but one tip is worship music, you know? Um, start playing worship music. Maybe you find it hard to pray, you know, just put on some, deep soaking worship music, put on some strings, you know, and start meditating on the song, start meditating on the lyrics, and you will see that out of that, you will just start pouring your heart out to God, and honestly, worship music. I think prayer should actually always start with worship or some sort of worship music. Maybe you can sing, maybe you're a worshiper. You know, start your prayer off with worship. Worship, that's it. Tip number two write down your prayers honestly this has helped me so much you know there were times where i found it so hard to pray if i'm not able to speak out my heart to god then i'm going to write it down i've been a person that always loves to write i've been writing since forever and i always have journals i actually always have a journal beside my bed i didn't know what to say like i feel i felt far from god but what i would always do i would write god letters and it may sound sound strange but i would write god letter i would write god letters and tell him how much of a struggle it was for me to pray how much of a struggle it was for me to seek him i would write him love letters how much i love him actually everything that I was supposed to say in words, but I couldn't utter it at that time. I would just write them down. And I have millions and millions of letters that I wrote to God. And you know, reading them back, they sometimes really encourage me. And my thoughts, like a couple of years ago, and I have multiple journals that I've written full with letters to God. And you know, um, it's amazing to read back and it helped me so much, you know, to find another way you know there are different streams of pouring your heart out to God and you know praying and interceding and these letters are amazing and it's really a joy to read them back so tip number two write write your prayers down tip number three is the word the word the word the word even in times when I'm not prayerful I would always read the word so the word is something that always helped me to pray. Oh, the word of God, our God, his words, his ways, 
his heart being poured out and wherever, whenever I read the word it encourages me to pray um, it stimulates me to pray and you can even pray according to the word maybe you don't know what to say but there are countless of ways to pray prayers that David pray even in the Psalms you know and you can incorporate those prayers you can incorporate those words in your own prayers um, and you know just having a good understanding of the word and really diving in the word will help you to pray it will help you to know what to say in prayer and I think the word is an amazing way you know pray according to the word pray the scriptures you know God cannot go against his word his word is yes and amen his word is settled in heaven forever so when you pray according to the word of God God needs to establish it you know um, God needs to establish it like pray according to the word you know there's power in the word the word is living it's alive you know it's alive it brings life and when you pray according to the scriptures you pray life you pray things in existence and God has to obey his word so number one worship number two writing and number three is word honestly I'm excited right now we see that guys that's that's prophetic you know it's not always easy I personally I don't know about you but I personally sometimes struggle in having a consistent prayer life like consistent you know I'm a work in process and God is working on me these are three things that have helped me so much um, you know to level up my prayer life real quick real quick you know it's time to pray it's time to intercede it's time to win souls it's time to pray time to bombire vampire so guys i hope these tips were helpful in some sort of way and if they were you know comment in the comment section below you know i love to be interactive with you guys thank you so much for watching my channel um if you liked it of course like share and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you in my next video bye oh It's like a messy bun pop situation going on here. If you want to see a video on my natural hair, my natural hair story, comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure to make one. If you want to see which products I use for my hair, yes guys, I have natural, under all that reef, I have natural hair that is flourishing. Now if you want to see what I use for my natural hair, uh, comment in the comment section below. And I love to do a Q&A. I'm going. I think I'm going to do a Q&A video. So if you have questions for me, please comment them in the comment section below. Um, this can be questions about anything and everything, and I'll be so glad to answer them in maybe in my next video. Um, so if you have questions, comment them in the comment section below, or email me, or send them in uh, via Snapchat. Make a video to answer your questions. So guys. This was really the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Let's level up in prayer.